everyone, this is Mappy, and welcome back to Tintin and the Prisoners of the- Oh my god, why did this decide to start becoming so hard? <laughs> this has just decided that we deserve punishment for our sins, and yeah, this is the final level of the game, by the way. It's a, yeah, for scrolling. And if I was to use the actual save system built into the game, uh, the thing is, I need, okay, I need to be more patient there. But patience risks death. Impatience risks death. This is just like doomed if you doomed if you do, doomed if you don't. All right, let's keep going. <laughs> Cause the thing is, this level, I have to imagine, is actually quite short if you can, you know do it properly. Like, as you can see, we are 99% done with the game. This is a short level, and then we have the awesome cutscene, and the absolutely dumb ending to this story that I want to show everyone. But I don't know. I don't know if we're gonna get there <laughs> at any point. Alright. Deep breath in, deep breath out drink of water. Let's do this! Blister and barnacles! Kinda helps. It kinda helps to channel the captain. I think I need I think I need to do it while I'm like halfway clipped into the thing. Like halfway clipped into the spikes. It's like it's It's like a pixel. I I have to be within like a pixel to do it properly. I will just take the hit from you, sir. There! That's what we were supposed to do. And the level keeps going. Oh god, it keeps going. Oh god, it keeps going! Oh dear lord, it keeps going! Alright. Back to the grindstone. We know what to do. It involves patience. We must be calm, like the grand old masters of yore became good at video games. I think, I think that's one of the things like the old Kung Fu masters did as part of their training. They set people down with like Ninja Gaiden or whatever and were like, yes, you need to beat this game, young grasshopper. Only then will you be a true ninja. That would explain why it was so, you know, difficult, you see. Because you were supposed to be a ninja to play it. You see, this is what rambling does. This is gonna be a rambling video. This is like, I'm probably gonna put a link in the in the comment or whatever, so you can skip to the ending if you don't want to watch these. But no, I'm suffering here, so you have to suffer with me, or laugh at my misfortune, whatever one you're actually doing. I hope you're suffering with me because misery loves company, and I should not have done that. I should be like speedrun expert of this stage at this point. I've died so many times. Just. Tintin is like, he has frequent dire miles, or whatever those are called. The annoying thing is, I keep feeling like I should have more mercy and invincibility than I actually do. Like, I'm not actually going to blame the game on this one, because I think part of this is I'm just playing really poorly. I'm, this is just not a segment I'm good at, I guess. I mean, at least each failure only takes like half a half a minute or something. Okay, calm, calm, peaceful. Title screen music. Go, we go. We don't duck because ducking is silly. We we do get hurt like immediately because. That's just what you do. 
That is just what you do with this level. I do apologize for the lack of calm, folks. I, I hope no one was coming here like after a long day and they were like, I want something peaceful to put on while I'm doing other things in the background. You just can't have to hear me ranting and rambling at this damn forced scrolling stage. All right, you jump, you jump over the stone. You, you get clipped by the spikes, even though you honestly shouldn't because come on. Yep, up there, quickly, quick like a bunny, hop, hop, hop. All right, we actually hop that one pro properly this time. We hop over you, we jump over here, we jump over here. Precision platforming where you can't see the next thing that's going on? Glorious. That's what we, that's what we like to see. This is what we like to see. This is, this is great. This is wonderful. This is fantastic. This is good. This is a good, yes! Finally! Yes! 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 Oh, sublime Patakamak, I implore thee, if this sacrifice is not thy will, hide thy shining face from us. And an eclipse happens. And the Inca, mercy, O stranger, make the sun show his flight again. I will grant you whatever you desire. These are people who literally worship the sun. They are idiots. They know what an eclipse is. Persia, they knew what an eclipse was. Why did you use this plot line? Your your research is normally so good, and then you do this crap. Like this is something when I was reading the story as like I don't know a wee child of I don't know like seven, six, seven. I knew at that point that this was absolute crap. Why? 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 Anyway, we continue. So be it, noble Inca, I accept your word. I will entreat the sun to reappear. I will say, I do like Tintin's like selling it face of yes, I commanded the sun. It hit itself because I am Tintin. I am a big deal. Uh. Uh, I, I actually have a bit of, like, an uh, adrenaline high from finishing that side-scrolling level at <laughs> no health. <laughs> okay, I have to wait for the giggles to stop before we continue. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. <sighs> oh, son! Pity thy children and show thy light once more. <laughs> Think of by Pashkamak, the sun obeys him. Quickly set them free. I keep my word, noble strangers. You are free. Thank you, noble prince of the sun. I have only one request to make. In my country, god of the sun, there are seven learned men who are still enduring terrible torture. I beg you to end their suffering. Your wish shall be granted. And all and all of the archaeologists from beforehand all wake up like, oh, what's going on? How, how do I get to this hospital? Uh, what they didn't, what this doesn't show is that throughout the actual comic, they showed back to like they were having like terrible, like their comas were like broken up by them, like coming half awake in like an absolute nightmare state and it was just kind of a bad time all around. This also kept out the fact that, you know, Zorino was like, yeah, I'm gonna stay with these guys right now and the Incas were all like, yeah, we're gonna adopt Zorino because like, I mean, you don't want him to go back and like, you don't want you guys to really to go back and tell them that we're here because this is like our secret civilization or whatever and like, and Tintin's all like, yeah, but we need to go back to Europe. And they're like, yeah, that's fine, because we control the sun or something. But like, the Zorino kid, eh, he doesn't have anywhere to go, so we're just going to adopt him. It's going to be great. And Zorino's pretty happy about the whole thing. But yeah, this is the end of the game. Let's see what the... Let's see the credits. Because I want to see who I want to blame for doing this. Okay, so Bruno, Daniel, Isidro, Jorge... Julio, Antonio, Sebastian, Ruben, Sergio, Alberto. Actually, no, those last like six names were five. 
I mean, the graphics were actually quite nice. Ruben and Benara, you are on my crap list. And Yordi, did you actually do anything? Did, did you actually do any quality assurance? Actually, come to think of it. The fact that they only had one quality assurance piercing probably says something. It probably says something about why the game is so hard. Because what generally happens when you only have one person testing a game or whatever is they get used to it. They get practiced at playing that game. So for him, or... Yeah, it wasn't him, right? Sorry, I, sorry, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I don't have a great memory for names, but yeah. I believe that was a man's name. Anyway. <clears throat> yeah. So I'm guessing that while, while they were testing the game, they just got really practiced at it to the point where they were like, hit the like door maze where they're like, oh yeah, you know, I know the layout because I've been testing this for like a month. And like, yeah, I, I know everywhere in the stage, like the back of my hand. So the fact that it has like no real guidance doesn't really bug me. Yeah. This is why you should have multiple play testers for your games, folks. But I guess, you know, when you're a smaller studio, you don't have that opportunity. But yeah, so this is Tintin and the Prisoner of the Sun. This is a game I had, I have had fondness of from my childhood. I see it did not have any fondness towards me, as to be indicated by the last few levels, which, uh, I'm, I'm kind of glad that the game uses passwords so I can, you know, I say this, but then I didn't actually need them to get past the mini games that normally give me so much trouble. And as a result, like the level that was giving me all the trouble was after another level. So no, passwords were a bad system. I'm glad we don't have passwords anymore for video games. I'm also glad I wasn't playing this on hard. Easy would not have actually been all that much easier because you saw how quickly I was taking damage. You saw how quickly things were tearing me apart. Having one more health is not as helpful as you'd think. I mean, maybe having extra, uh, like, pickups. Like, as you, as you probably noticed when I was going through the levels, there were quite a few places where it's like, huh, this is just a dead end with nothing in it. There was, there was probably going to be another one-up or another uh, health thing there. But yeah. Whew. I, I, just, I just recorded this all in one sitting. <laughs> Which is part of the reason why I was like so... Ugh, near the end there. Anyway. So. I'm going to upload this. I'm going to decide on the next thing I want to play. Um, I have... I have ideas. Um, I don't know if I'm going to go with those because maybe going back and doing another kind of frustrating older game is not, it's not the best of plans. But anyway, this is Mappy. That was Tintin and the Prisoner of the Sun, which we are never going to see again, ever. And I hope you enjoy. And, like, in general, I would look up some Tintin comics if you can. I would try to get my, your hand, get your hands on, on some, because they're actually pretty good. Uh, especially a lot of the later ones, he did a lot of, like, research of the places where he was sending Tintin. So, like, the background art is gorgeous. And, yeah. Tintin is a really, really good comic. The video game adaptations, because there actually were a few more, weren't fantastic. I think this... I, I, I'm going to go out on a limb and say this one was probably the most polished. It was probably the best. And that says something. 